Lauren's in her car, everyone, because that's <laughs> because are it, something's being done in your apartment. I'm embarrassed to say it's because it's my cleaning lady. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds so bougie and dumb, but it's like it's like my my friend who cleans my apartment for me once in a while. She's in there. She's supposed to be done by now. Well, I think that it's. I mean, you you refer to her as a friend, so I think that that's okay. It's nice that. I mean, your friends. I, I said friend because I don't remember her name. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. I totally I know her name. She is a friend of mine. What I thought maybe we could do is we'll talk to you for a little bit, and then we'll give you your two minutes to give us your two-minute version of your life story, and then we can all improvise scenes based on you and your life. Oh, I like it. I okay. like it. This is like a this is a, a secret fantasy I've had for a long time. In 1969, in an unwed mother's home in Terre Haute, Indiana, Terre Haute, Indiana, which was like voted like one of the most disgusting cities in America, a 15-year-old girl had a baby. And so, um, and then she gave the baby away. And then uh, that baby was me. And when she named me um, Tammy Lisa, and then that was the my birth mother's name for me. But then when I got adopted, I, Tammy Lisa was turned into Lauren Huntington Weedman. And I was adopted by this... Um, sort of upper middle class family in Indianapolis. And I, I basically grew up in Indianapolis in the suburbs and I always had a, a one foot out the door with the family I was adopted by. I just, I never felt a part of that family, which was an ongoing issue for me. And I was upset. And then about, and, and then I remember around fourth or fifth grade when I started doing theater. And that's the first time that I felt sort of a part of any I want to say first time I was happy. <laughs> I started gaining weight when I was about in seventh grade, and my birth, my adopted mother was the ballet. The fact that she'd adopted this this girl that ended up being um, a, a a larger girl, I was a more voluptuous girl. That made my mother insane. She sent me to so many different like Weight Watchers, hypnotists to try to get me to lose weight, and she was so embarrassed by my my weight gain and constant like I was always sneaking pop tarts. I was obsessed with David Bowie. I was obsessed with feeling like I was an outsider that nobody understood. And that at some point I would, you know, end up in New York City and Andy Warhol's factory, which was like this, this idea that I'd be with all these artists um, making weird, uh, bad movies on, in, in black and white. Uh, so, and which also drew me to anytime there was a foreign exchange student around in my school, I was always like, oh my gosh, what is Sweden like? You must have the most amazing electronic music. Take me with you. So I um, went to theater school when I was 18 and I was there for a year, kind of a rough year. Um, I had a hard time with all the, I'll skip that. That, that. that year is just like a, let's say it's a blur. <laughs> ended up going to uh, IU and then I met Franz. And I went to Amsterdam, did experimental theater, learned Dutch, um, uh, uh, smoked a lot of pot. That was it. Never went to any of the weird sex shows or like that, which I kind of regret now because I think that would have been the time to do it. Went back to Seattle there, then started doing solo theater, but changed my life. And suddenly I became kind of famous in Seattle. Um, and w was known for being a solo artist. I did a show about being adopted. And then I ended up going to New York City and being um, on uh, The Daily Show and off Broadway. And then after that, I, would, I got married um, to a guy in Seattle. He was a bartender. It turns out a big cheater. So then I would divorce, moved to LA and started doing some other little tiny TV things I didn't really care about. Got married again. He was kind of a cheater too. I've got, I've got a type. Then I had a baby, Leo. And Leo was um, uh, born uh, 10 years ago. And now I'm a single mom living in Santa Monica. And I, I, I was, I've done a lot of HBO shows, Looking. I did this show about gay boys on HBO which is, that was the best thing I've ever worked on. Written a couple books. And I have a cat named Monkey. Um, hi, Spin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for, uh, thanks for eating lunch with me. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> you know I really like to eat the, the uh, peanut butter and toast, as you call it here. Yeah, <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> what do you uh, What do you eat for breakfast in uh, in the motherland? <laughs> in the, the Dutch land, we eat the. Uh, Say it again. <laughs> the Dutch land. <laughs> we eat the the roasted uh, deer. Oh, <laughs> that's so. But we do put peanut butter on it, you know. <laughs> we just slather it, slather it on, just like the just like the bread, as you say here. Just like a whole deer, like the whole thing. 
Yeah, it's a little bit difficult to fit in the oven, but we have larger ovens in, in Zitterstrand. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you have big tables too. Yeah, we have the big tables and the big chairs. We're all very tall, you know. Wow. <laughs> Who's like the tallest? You know, I'd like to say me, but my brother is just uh, half an inch taller than me. You, you have a brother? I do have a brother. <laughs> There's more of you. Yeah, he is, he is a foreign exchange student in uh, New York City. You, are you leaving anytime soon to go back? Because I'm, um, you know, I'm like free. <laughs> you know, I'm free. I could go with you. Oh my God, stop. I have so many things to do here, but like, I'll go with you if you want. <laughs> stop. No, I, have, I, I have an idea. What's I your idea? I think you should move with me to Deutschland. Can you say it one more time, but just really slow? I've, I've been waiting. Um, I've been waiting 25 years to hear this exact <laughs> phrase. So I just need to. Um, okay, okay. I think you should move with me, the tall one, the gorgeous one, the Dutch one, back to my motherland. Yes. Hi, Lauren. Um, it's been, I don't know if you know me, I do a drama program here at your uh, elementary school. And I was just wondering if you would like to be in the drama club. So you would stand on stage and you would, um, I mean, I don't, I haven't actually written a play for this year. So maybe what I could do is you could just stand on stage and talk about yourself. I love to do that. Okay, so what, <laughs> like what, what stories would you tell if we put you on stage? Here? I could talk about how um, the other day, um, my mom took me to the Weight Watchers and um, she got really mad at me because I was eating so many Pop-Tarts. I just love the strawberry ones. And it was just, um, really interesting because they kept wanting me to go swimming, but I was like, I just want to keep eating the pop tarts. So I guess I could talk about that. Um, could. what I really want you to do is talk about your pain. <laughs> is there, <laughs> is there any like <laughs> painful experience? I can't stop <laughs> Is there any, Laurie, any painful experience now in the fourth grade that, that you would like to talk about? before an audience of your peers and their parents. So, I've actually never said this out loud. Oh, um, please talk. This is all very professional. But Jimmy from Miss Donahue's class, mm -hmm. um, we were actually dating for the past three days. And I actually just found out the other day that he gave Sarah um, the other half of his peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, so I think he's cheating on me. Um, that's never happened to me before. And I just feel a little, um, hurt by it. Listen, um, <gasps> was really hard. listen, I just, I, you didn't ask me for advice, but, but I'm going to give it. Um, you have to be really careful. Uh, you don't want to develop a type. So... <laughs> I think that you really need to be careful and uh, in, in who you date. Make sure that you're not going to date someone that's going to that's going to cheat on you. Lauren, <laughs> is that the devil's toast I see you eating right now? As young lady, spit that out! Spit that out! Spit it out! Okay, mm. that's it. I'm calling the family hypnotist. <laughs> it's out, it's out, it's out. Hello, Francis. No. Yes, I need you to teleport here. Oh, there he is. Yeah, you two are going to have Hello. a chat. Hello. You talk, to, talk to the young lady. Talk to the young lady right now. What What have you put in your mouth? What What did you just eat? What is your mouth? What's in your mouth right now, Lauren? What is in there? What's strawberry pop tarts. <laughs> strawberry pop tart that was dropped in a big pile of vomit that you found. Oh, the vomit on the pop tart. <laughs> oh, the feces that was on top of the vomit that was on top of the boils. The boils on my hand that picked up the vomit covered feces pop tart. <laughs> now, Lauren, are you going to finish chewing that pop tart? I don't. I don't know if I if I want to anymore. <laughs> 
Hello, boys. Uh, here we are, the uh, writers of the Daily Show. Uh, all male. It's isn't it great to be a man in this room? Right. Isn't it great to be and smoke invisible cigarettes? Am I the only one that just hates his wife? Am I like? Am I like the only one? Oh no! You kidding no, me? Right? I was just out in uh, in the Big Apple, um, mm. seeing some arts and culture. Right. Uh, and uh, and and I saw this uh, this solo show by this uh, this little girl named Lauren, and uh, I think that she might be a good addition to the show. I've got her waiting outside. I thought that maybe she could come in, and um, and maybe we could just meet her. All right, you know what? All right, wait, we'll take it. We'll take it. Sure. Okay, here she and here she is. Here, uh, there she is. She Lauren is. Okay. Uh, Lauren, hello. Thank you for. Oh. Uh, uh, the, r the real Lauren is here. It's about me, no one else. Oh, there's Lauren, Wait, and then there's- They oh. look exactly alike. Which one's the real- what? Oh, which oh, one? We need oh, the oh, no. Wait, which- oh, Hold on. Which- Which- Are you the real Lauren Weedman? All of you look the same to me. Which one's real? I'm the real Lauren. Oh, okay. Yeah? And- Oh. And who's that? That well, just- I don't know who those people are. They're imposters. Oh, it's Lauren. Wait, there's like three Lauren- uh, Who- don't we have like security in this place? What's going on? So sorry, I I will not oh, bother you. Lauren, I never please do, stand up. I never do this. I never do this. I just wanna. If you guys are holding auditions at all, I would just love to. I have some. I have some. I just um. If you're having, I, I this is one of my favorite shows. But I, I never do this. I never do this. I just love you all. I think you're so funny. Thank yeah. you so much. That's all. Um. And again, if you're holding auditions or anything like that, I'm here. But good luck. Good luck. Okay. Sorry. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Such a geek. That's that's just okay. Okay, get get, off the, get the street. Get the street. I'm gonna. Hey, all you big men, get out! It's time for women in comedy now. It's a women Goodbye. show. <laughs> Goodbye, men. I can feel this my essence canceled. disappearing. I wanna. I I got some period jokes, some menopause jokes, and oh my god, my boobs! Right, ladies? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my breasts too. Perfect. Can you tell the one about the diary you get when you're in your period? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh wow! That's not all women. Oh sorry, <laughs> I'm out of here. I love to Where's... be a woman. I just I'm so loving of it. <laughs> and me too, woman. There's something about having an entire room full of women that really um, I don't know. There's just definitely a tension. Hello, Lauren and Sven. Hello. Hello. So Hello. nice to have you here at my theater troupe in Amsterdam. Here I have the script for the next show. It is very weird and avant-garde. Thank you. <laughs> That's good. Here, no, let's do that. Let's do that again because it was so impressive. Here, I'm going to hand you the script. Now you take it. Oh, oh look at you. Oh my. Wow. High art. That was amazing. So um, <laughs> I'm going to go now and I'm going to leave the two of you alone to rehearse. You know, I think we should just start reading. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so this oh. oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you were ready. I'm sorry. <laughs> On, it's actually your first line. I, I didn't mean to cut you off. Mm. You know, I think I actually read it wrong. Um, the person that killed you was my father. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. Why don't you just stab me then? You know, I thought about it before, but uh, I, I decided against it. Here, you can even use this knife. Oh my. <laughs> oh my, I do not know how to use a knife. Oh no, you pushed me. <laughs> <laughs> Take Don't that. stab me, Sven. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, um, we never talked about names in this scene. What's your... I, I think it says Lola. I think I'm playing Lola. Lola. Okay. I'm so sorry. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get back into it. Okay. Lola, don't stab me. <laughs> don't but do it. Don't stab me with the knife that I gave you. But she did <laughs> on my cat with, with my dog. I don't even know what that means, but I'm a woman, so you must be right. Well, then I guess I have no choice, then. 
to, but to stab you. If you must. <laughs> Ow. I'm bleeding. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Will they believe it? I think we since we're to... not going to use blood. No. It's I very think... abstract. Yes. I don't know. Maybe it's 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 poetic if we don't use blood. Welcome to the uh, Amsterdam audition for comedians. Uh, the door is open. Please, please enter. Hi, hi, hello. Oh, very well. Uh, so you want to be a comedian, yes? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Um, tell me a joke. Uh, did you hear about the new restaurant on the moon? Critics are saying the food's good, but there's no atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> you made me laugh. World War II is over. Yes. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> so, uh, that was an interesting talent show. Um, you know, uh, Lauren, some of your friends came in for the talent show, and you know, Susie. Uh, she twirled the baton, and then she, you know, was on fire for a second there, and uh, and she's gonna be fine, by the way. Um, and then, uh, and th then, th Tammy did the magic act, and and that was that was very nice. Um, you stood up and talked about the trauma of being adopted. <laughs> it was, uh, I, and that's okay. We don't want to censor you. We don't want to stop you from uh, uh, telling your story. But why did you do that, Lauren? Um, well, earlier I talked with the drama club instructor, and they were like, I should just go up and talk about my life. And I realized I spent a lot of my time talking to myself in the mirror. And oftentimes it's me talking about that. So I figured um, I could make myself giggle because when I look in the reflection, <laughs> she's like, <laughs> so I like, maybe I can make other people um, do that too. Right, right. And there were, there were some people laughing. Um, uh, there, there were other people deeply uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, I think probably it's, it's not comfortable to come face to face with uh, an example of humanity. Uh, like that. Um, uh, so I'm just going to say that maybe wait until you're an adult before you talk about the trauma of adoption. Maybe while you're a young person, um, you should just uh, can keep it zipped, kind of keep it zipped a little bit. Mm. I don't want to do that. No, oh, I understand. I'm opening it. Oh, no, don't open it. Don't open it. <laughs> Well, hi, Lauren. I'm the embodiment of New York, and I think you should come visit me. Sorry. I, I can make you famous, kid. Oh. You want to talk about being adopted? I'll make you money. Yes, I, I, I want to go to New York. I think back to when I was in elementary school, and those dumbass teachers told me to shut my mouth. But, you know, I'm a strong-ass woman, and my story deserves to be told. Mm. Yeah, keep it going. Come to New York, Lauren. Come on. <laughs> Come to New York. Come on. Do you want rats for a roommate? Come to New York. Yeah. Um, oh, do I you want to live in a broom closet? Come on. <laughs> oh, I don't like clean. Maybe I can get my friends to do it for me, but that sounds amazing. Oh, come on. Hey, do you want to do improv? Woo, come to New York. Oh, I feel like I'm improving my whole life, so yes. <laughs> do you think improv is a lifestyle? Because that's what New York is about. It's come my to life, and I want to do it. Oh, whatever they put in this brownie was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, Kinu, like do, you, do you have any money? No, but my oh. parents... They are upper middle class, so. Hey, <laughs> that's perfect for New York. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. I could start, you know, 
selling pictures of my feet, but I don't know if that's part of my character. <laughs> hey, you know what? You can tell people about that in stand-up clubs where no one's going to listen to you. Ooh, come to New York. Come on. Those who didn't listen to me growing up, oh, it's all coming together. Hi, welcome to Cheaters Anonymous. Uh, it's like the uh, the AA for cheaters, so I, I guess it's CAA, <laughs> but not like not like the agency. Um, it, we'll just call it like Cheaters Anonymous Anonymous. Um, oh, we have a we have a new guest in here. Please go ahead. Oh, I, I, I first meeting. Don't pay attention. I just I'm here to learn. Thank you so much for everybody's vulnerability. I'd love to hear more details about maybe how people found themselves. Like, what was the first kiss? Where were they? Um, that kind of thing. If anybody had a cheating element on, or uh, event on Thursday night, this last Thursday night, I'd be so curious what that like. I just, um, I'd love to hear some shares. I'm not here for, to, to, I don't need any time. I just wanted to be supportive. Such a hard, thank you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I just have to let you know that these, these questions are very specific uh, and are leading me to think that we have an infiltrator in this group. Um, I'm so sorry, have... I didn't see it. Was there, was there, a, was there, a, ha was there a brochure at the, at the door that said, um, don't come in here if you are going to get specific? <laughs> I, I, I'm just asking for, I just want to know if, um, if anybody, when they go to a bar, who here is a big drunk who goes to a bar and then thinks because the bartender got them drunk that they can um, do what they want. Raise your hand if you're if you're um, a big drunk on Thursday night. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. Hello, hello. <laughs> that's all. Keep going. I don't feel very comfortable in this group anymore. I must I must admit. Yeah, we. I, you know, Hi. I don't. Are you are you a cheater? No, for me, I feel like once you've, um, w when you get married, I don't consider that the ceremony of lies. I consider that a actual thing that meant something. Anybody here ever had any meaning in their life? Anybody do anything that mattered and stuck to it? Anybody? <laughs> I got, I had a hand job at the back, at the back of an Arby's. I thought that was pretty neat, right? You got a hand job at an Arby's? Did you say? <laughs> yeah, that? Back, back, of, back of the Arby's. Not inside the Arby's. I would never do that. I, never stoop that so makes low. perfect sense to me. I don't. I've never cared for Arby's. Um, it, there's something about roast beef in a fast way that I don't like, but some people do like it apparently. So um, anyway, no last names. But Michael Neff, anybody? Anybody know Michael Neff? No <laughs> last names. <laughs> Nope. My, my, nope. Michael, really? if, Michael, if you're, that's Michael, right I'm not going to point out Michael, but uh, if you're in this group, I recommend you should run. Hello, Lauren. Well. Hi. I have news for you. It's um, you lived a long, full life, but uh, but now you are dead. Um, it's okay. You know what? It's okay. You were a hundred and nine. Oh my God! I, know, I wonder what my legacy is. I know, well, that's that's what I'm here to tell you. You have led a rich, full life, and we have all of these gifts now to give you. <gasps> Hi, Lauren. It's your mother. Yup, I ended up up here. Crazy, right? So, I have some Pop-Tarts for you. I have so many Pop-Tarts for you because you've, you've left such a fruitful life and I think now it's time for you to indulge yourself for the first time. So I've, I've brought all of the Pop-Tarts, all of them, every single one, all of the ghost Pop-Tarts for you. Hey, Lauren, it's me, the Spirit of New York, and I just wanted to let you know we've named a stand-up open mic night after you, Lauren. <laughs> oh, what's the name of it? It's called Lauren Weedman's Open Mic Night. <gasps> and everyone, when they walk in the door, they say, who's that? <laughs> oh my god, they know who I am! Hey yo, it's me. It's me, Tom. I'm from The Daily Show. Yes, I am a misogynist. Yes, I don't <laughs> believe that women are funny. I do. Um, how you doing, Lauren? I'm here. Yeah, sure, this is my hell. I bought a gift for you. Are you ready it? for it? It's my dick in a box! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My gift to you, like your mother, I brought you some more Pop-Tarts. That's right, eat it up, bitch, eat it up. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Sven's brother. Where do you want to go from here? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I like TV. <laughs> 
but I won't hurt you. Okay, is there anything else that you like? <laughs> oh my god, you can't make that gesture up here. Hey, Lauren, it's me again, the spirit of New York. It seems oh like you've god. broken the number one rule ben, of heaven, and go. you're gonna ben, have to come go. back to New York. <laughs> come on, baby. Come on, let's go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry you Let's go, go New York is coming! It's, it's all right. Come with me, boo. Let me. See. Oh yeah. Okay. Look at me. I'm, I'm going wow. to hell. Hey, Lauren, it's I'm calling New Francis. <laughs> I'm calling Francis. I didn't mean to cheat on you. Okay. <laughs> now that everyone's gone, it's just me and you. So and scene. Good. <laughs>